Hello friends, this is Vineet. Welcome to my YouTube channel Techies Hub. So today's topic is all about Software Quality Assurance. What is SQA? So actually SQA is a process which assures that all software engineering processes, methods, activities and work items are monitored and comply against the defined standards. So what are the standards? So there are some different status, uh, standards like ISO 9000, CMMI model, ISO 15504, etc. So SQA incorporates all software development processes starting from defining requirements to coding until release. Its primary goal is to ensure quality. So that is the main thing. It ensures that the quality is followed and actually it is implemented in the product. So what is SQA plan? That is Software Quality Assurance Plan. So actually it comprises of the procedures, the techniques, the tools that are employed to make sure that the product or service aligns with the requirements defined in the software requirement specification. So what does this SQA plan consist of? So it has got a purpose section like what is the purpose then the reference section then the software configuration management section problem reporting and corrective action section tools technologies and methodologies section code control section records like collection maintenance and retention section and finally the testing methodologies so what are the sqa activities so the sqa start with creating an SQA management plans then setting the checking points to measure the uh, so actually oh, where we have reached and uh, how much we have uh, come from the initial phase then how to apply different software engineering techniques then executing the different types of technical reviews then if they, they should have a for uh, multi testing strategies then and then they have to enforce the process adherence so there are two sub activities which are explained below the details like what is product evaluation so this activity confirms that the software product is meeting the requirement that were discovered in the pm plan that is the project management plan it ensures that the set standards for the project are followed correctly then we have something called process monitoring so this activity verifies if the correct steps were taken during the software development this is done by matching the actual steps against the documented steps followed by other activities like controlling change what will you do if there is a change how can we control the change then how we measure the impact that is caused by the change then we will do we will be doing some sqa audits then we have to maintain the records and reports and we have to manage good relations so moving on we are talking about some of the software quality assurance standard so we'll start with iso 9000 so actually it's based on seven quality management principles which helps the organization to ensure that their products or services are aligned with the customer needs so all these standards are aligned to the organization so the first one is it should be customer focus the leadership engagement of people the process that we are going to bring in the organization the improvement evidence-based decision making and the final one the relationship management so if you have these seven principles in an organization then we can say that it is having the standard of iso 9000 then moving on to cmmi level so cmmi stands for capability maturity model integration this model was originated in software engineering it can be employed to direct process improvement throughout a project department or an entire organization so there are five levels level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 and level 5 so level 1 is initial so the processes are unpredictable poorly controlled and reactive so that when an organization starts to uh, they will be having something called an initial then they will be moving to the level to manage so some processes are characterized for the project and actually it is reactive 
So actually these processes are now only for the projects. Then we have the level 3 that is defined. Now the processes are characterized for the organization and it is proactive. So the reactive change to proactive. So projects tailor their processes from the organization standard. So the organization has some standards and the projects will start following those standards. And then we have the level 4 that is quantitatively managed. So now we are uh, starting to measure the processes and we are doing and we are controlling them. So if there is any change, we are making sure that those are controlled and the processes are measured. And finally, we have something called optimizing. So it focuses on process improvement. So actually, even though they have reached at the top, they are still working on to improve the process. So then we have something called test maturity model integration. So based on CMMI, this model focuses on maturity levels in software quality management and testing. So as we know, there are still five levels. First level is the initial. Then we have something called manage. So here we will be having test policy and strategy, test planning, test monitoring and control, test design and execution, test environment. Then we will have something called defined. So you can see here uh, the levels are same in uh, both uh, CMMI and uh, TMMI till uh, level 3. The fourth is quantitatively managed by here it is measured and the fifth is optimizing here it is optimization. So in the level 3 defined we have test organization, test training program, test life cycle and integration, non-functional testing and peer reviews. And then we have something called measured where we have the test measurement, product quality evaluation, advanced reviews. And finally we have the optimization where we have defect prevention, test process optimization and quality control. So finally we will be talking about the elements of software quality assurance. So what are the elements that we have for a good software quality assurance? Software engineering standards, then we should have the reviews and audits. Then we should have software testing for quality controls. The error collection and analysis so that it can be avoided in the future. Change management, educational programs, vendor management, security management, safety and the risk management. What are some of the SQA techniques? So we'll start with auditing. So auditing involves inspection of the work products and its related information to determine if the set of standard process were followed or not. Then we'll go to reviewing, a meeting in which the software product is examined by both internal and external stakeholders to seek their comments and approval. Then we will have the code inspection. It's like a formal kind of review that is static testing to find bugs and our defects growth in the latest uh, stage. Design inspection, actually it's done using a checklist that inspects the below areas of software design like uh, requirement, traceability, logic, error handling and recovery and all those things. Then we have simulations. So simulation is a tool that models the real life situation in order to virtually examine the behavior of the system under study. Functional testing. So it's a QA technique which makes sure that system does without considering how it uh, does. So actually it's like a type of a black box testing. Then we have the standardization. So actually it plays a crucial role in quality assurance. It decreases the ambiguity and guesswork, thus ensuring quality. So we should have some standards in an organization. Static analysis. So actually it is done by an automatic tool without actually executing the program. So actually it's, it's mostly used in medical nuclear and aviation softwares. And walkthroughs. So software walkthrough or code walkthrough is a kind of peer review where the developer guides the member of the development team to go through the product and ISO score, suggest alternatives, make comments related to errors, standard violation or other things. Then we have something a white box testing technique called path testing where the complete branch coverage is ensured by executing each independent path at least once. Then we have something a non-functional testing called stress testing. So actually it's, it's done to check how a system is behaving under heavy load that's beyond the normal conditions. And finally we have the Six Sigma. So it's a quality assurance approach. 
so actually it's it's its aim is to make sure that it, the product is nearly perfect so actually everybody knows we cannot create a perfect product but we can create a nearly perfect product so actually it is uh, widely applied in applied in many fields including software so main objective of six sigma is process improvement so that the product produced software is 99.76 percentage defect free so with that i conclude uh, this tutorial on sqa so i guess this has given you some overview on uh, the software quality assurance so thank you uh, have a good day bye